I am Sylvester Ademana, the Chief Director of the Ministry of Health in Ghana. Ghana's commitment to family planning in a structured manner first started in uh, 1969. Uh, at that time, uh, Professor Fred T. Sai, uh, the former uh, president of the International Federations of Planned Parenthood Associations, was then uh, the person leading the government advisory team on population affairs. And uh, he helped to put in place uh, a family planning council at the uh, ministry, under the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning in Ghana. Uh, this council in 1994 was transformed into a population, a national population council, giving it a broader mandate to handle all population issues. And the, council, the National Population Council has since been responsible for uh, formulating policy on national population issues as well as coordinating various stakeholders and uh, leading the education on family planning, the public education on family planning. Uh, the affirmed family planning is affirmed in various reproductive health related uh, uh, national policies and strategy documents and uh, implementation plans and uh, is now recognized as a priority cost effective and uh, essential intervention for health and national development and the unfortunate thing is that 40 years down the line uh, when you look at the achievements of family planning in uh, the country uh, we find a situation where it is not the achievement is not comparable to other public areas uh, public health interventions for instance the epi Expanded program of immunization coverage as at uh, 2008 stood at 88%. Uh, uh, antenatal care was as high as 95%. Uh, uh, but you come to the area of family planning and it was as low as 17% uh, with an unmet family planning need of 35%. So you'd see that family planning actually has not. Uh, been implemented as well as uh, other health, public health interventions in the country. Uh, the Ministry of Health, therefore, in two, 2011, uh, with the support of development partners, undertook a, situ a critical situation analysis and uh, came out with uh, a, 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 a the underlying causes or the bottlenecks and some of the implementation gaps that have given rise to maternal health uh, not being uh, so good in the country. And uh, the resultant plan that was drawn uh, clearly covers the areas of uh, family planning as well as uh, areas of uh, skill delivery and then also touches on uh, emergency obstetric uh, and uh, newborn care. So these are the areas, the M uh, MAF plan or the Millennium Development, the, uh, the MDG acceleration, acceleration framework covers. So for short, we call it the MAF plan. So the MAF plan that has been drawn uh, covers the priority uh, uh, family planning interventions. It also has come out clearly with the barriers to family planning in Ghana. Uh, these barriers essentially are the, uh, uh, the user fee that is charged for family planning services. Uh, the second important barrier being uh, the uh, procurement and distribution of uh, family planning commodities which has uh, not been properly implemented over the years leading to periodic shortages and non-availability of commodities, and all this contributing to the unmet family planning need. Then also we have the third, whole, the third barrier, which uh, comprises the uh, sociocultural 
areas, the MIPS and other uh, issues such as women not having the control over their own fertility and so on, which all contribute to uh, uh, poor uptake of the services because women cannot, in uh, terms of cultural, social cultural uh, uh, reasons, access the service so readily. Uh, the commitment of government to address all these uh, barriers uh, uh, has already been clearly outlined in the MAF plan and implementation has sort of started. Uh, the barrier posed by the user charges for family planning services uh, are to be withdrawn. Already there's in Parliament uh, a bill which seeks to revise the uh, fa uh, National Health Insurance uh, Act so that uh, uh, family planning services can be included because the existing act does not include family planning in the benefit package. Uh, so right now in Parliament there's a bill which will make sure that uh, family planning services are catered for. Uh, as soon as this is achieved then we will move to a stage where family planning can be put as part of the benefit package of our National Health Insurance Scheme. Uh, interestingly, under this scheme, all other obstetric care services are taken care of free of charge with the exception of family planning. Uh, but already on the 8th of March this year, uh, as his gift to the women of Ghana, the health minister already announced that uh, family planning services be provided free of charge at all public health facilities. Uh, this is what is going to pertain in the interim whilst uh, the, uh, the re review of the Act on the Health Insurance uh, is uh, being considered by Parliament. Uh, besides payment for salaries of uh, providers of family planning services, uh, the government of Ghana also directly procures about a quarter of all the family planning commodities which are used in the country. And uh, this level of financial commitment from government is going to continue up to 2015. Uh, beyond 2015, we have every reason to believe that uh, even government's financial contribution is going to be higher than this. Uh, this is because as uh, having attained a lower in middle income status, uh, we do not foresee uh, as much donor inflows as uh, in the future as we are seeing now, and uh, we expect government to contribute more towards family planning. Uh, then also, government commitment to scale up family planning services to all parts of the country is uh, also uh, something which we are going to push for using the community health planning and service delivery. Uh, under this uh, strategy, we have uh, we are placing community health nurses under the close to client concept in uh, rural communities. Uh, these community health nurses live and work with the communities. Uh, all such cadres are going to be trained also uh, on the provision of uh, various methods of family planning and we hope to scale up uh, access to the services using such uh, community health nurses. Um, we also, in, in increasing the choices, we have uh, undertaken training and introduced new family planning methods. And uh, this is going to offer many more choices and improving on access to both long-term and permanent contraceptive methods. Uh, we also commit to leverage uh, the strong partnership between the Ministry of Health, our development partners, civil society organizations and the private sector, uh, all under the MAF plan, these people are going to be involved in implementation so that uh, uh, we can implement as best as we can. Uh, the bottlenecks uh, and uh, service delivery gaps which have been identified in the situation analysis are going to be addressed and we hope that with our combined effort, 
uh, family planning uptake will be accelerated and made available all over the country. And uh, this eventually, ultimately, will help us attain the MDG 5. And in fact, all the other MD, M8 MDGs. So we wish to use this uh, opportunity to once again appeal to our development partners and all other interested stakeholders to support this wedding cause in Ghana.